It's a joy to be on K6OCL, uh, Christ Vision Incorporated, right here in the beautiful city of Keokuk, Iowa. And I tell you what, folks, this program is for you. It's to minister to you. It's to entertain you. I want you to have a good time. If I try to tell a little funny, I want you to laugh and okay. But when I get serious and present the Word of God to you, I want you to listen real close and apply it to your life. Amen. I still believe in the miracles of Jesus Christ. I still believe He is in the healing business. And greater than that, He is in the saving business. And that's what this program is all about. If you enjoy the program, be sure to write and uh, let us know. That'll give us a little encouragement to keep on keeping on. It's about a two-hour drive uh, to Keokuk from Davenport, Iowa, where I live. But knowing that, <coughs> pardon me, knowing that you are being blessed and knowing that this program is touching you will make that trip a whole lot shorter. Amen. Lord Jesus, we just love you and praise you, and thank you for this opportunity. I pray for everyone that's watching this program, Lord, that it'll be a blessing to them. There's so many hurts going on in this world today, Lord, and we just know that you know about every one of them, and we're placing them all in your healing hands, Lord. And I just pray that you'll get glory from this service, from these programs, Lord, as we endeavor to lift you up to a lost and dying world. We pray it all. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Here's a little toe-tapping, foot-tapping song Mr. Jake Hess recorded a few years ago. I can't sing it like Jake, but on the other hand, he can't sing it like me. <laughs> it's called You and Me, Jesus. Okay, Brother John, let's play some music. Come on. They said I'd never make it They said it would not last They said I'd never get away From all that's in my past They said I would not last one day They said I'd be right back But here I am still with you, Lord And I wonder where they're at Oh, you and me, Jesus, we sure fooled them all. They just thought they knew for sure I was gonna fall. Well, I'm sure far from perfect, as you can plainly see. But after all these years, oh Lord, it's still you and me. Amen, folks. Just remember, you and Jesus, that's the majority right there. He can take care of all your problems if you'll let him. Amen. Praise God. Well, my friends, they all did leave me. They hung me out to dry. Sometimes I get so lonesome, Lord, I'd hang my head and cry. Well, I guess they thought that they would show me. I guess they had their fun. But it really does not matter, Lord, cause you're still number one. Oh, you and me, Jesus. We sure fooled them all They just thought they knew for sure That I was gonna fall Well, I'm sure far from perfect As you can plainly see But after all these years, oh Lord It's still you and me It's still you and me. Hey, man, thank you there, Florence. I'm telling you, we got one in here that's enjoying this. <laughs> hey, man. 
Oh, I tell you folks, it's, uh, it was a lot of mixed emotions when I decided to retire from traveling so much after 26 years. I have met so many, many wonderful, wonderful people down through the years like Reverend Larry Hans and John Baldner and, and Florence and Donette and oh, I tell you, just uh, Joanna and all these wonderful folks that I've met. And uh, that's just uh, four or five that I could mention right off the top of my uh, little old flat head, you know. So I know I'm going to miss it, and uh, I want you to pray for me. And if I didn't really feel like God calling me to pastor a church, I sure wouldn't have done it. But everybody tells me it's difficult to pastor a church. You know, when you're an evangelist, you can get out there and you can just preach and bawl and squall and run up and down the wall and have yourself a time, and then you can leave, see, and they don't ever have to call you back. But when you're a pastor, you have to stay there with the folks, and you got to laugh with them when they're happy, and you got to cry with them when they're sad. And you got to be a spiritual leader that even though it hurts to preach against sin, you've got to tell them, that the wages of sin is death, but on the other hand, the gift of God, amen, is eternal life with Jesus Christ. I want to do another great song for you if I can get my orchestra leader to go ahead and play it for you. I hope it'll be a blessing to you. <clears throat> In a far and distant land Two rusty nails Pierced two precious hands There a man named Jesus For silver was sold All that old rugged cross the great love story was told. around. 
and some was pain for every man's soul on an old rugged cross the great love story was told the greatest love story is the old rugged cross You're on live you can in fact you know what we had some people drop by this morning we have three little well not little because one's a little bigger child right. but children out oh, are my kids ready they came by and they wanted to know if they could sing a song and, and don't I we sing. love it when they right, do that right oh, that just makes and our their day. mother came down here yesterday on her bicycle said she rode over from mckinley street and she said i can give you a dollar a month and i said praise god I did. I shouted. Come on in, Diane. This is Diane Deck, and she has three children, and they are going to sing a special. Now, Rita, if you and I can kind of give our mics to them, can we get them all in here? What song are you going to sing? Um, Jesus loves me. Jesus, can you say oh, that again louder? Jesus, Jesus loves, loves me. Loves me. Okay. start singing that. Yeah. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him below. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't that wonderful? Now, a word to this mother. You're yes. teaching them the right thing. Yes, and you, you are. Just keep it up. Thank honey. you, You're Diane. Them exactly I appreciate the right it. Thing. Thank you. And, God and bless you. you. Here, darling. Yeah. Wasn't that nice of her? And she come down here this morning. And her kids they rode their bikes sing. in the rain. Yes. So you yes. know they're dedicated. Yeah. And she promised them now they can go to McDonald's. I think it is and play in the in the fun things there. The kids like to get in. I'm too old for him, but you don't got it. At oh, maybe here. it's Hardee's somewhere. I well, Burger King. Oh no, it's Burger, Burger King. King. Of I'm course sorry. it is. <laughs> oh, hi There's Donna. Donna. Hi Donna. <laughs> we love hi, Donna. Donna. I just wanted to tell you this. I was down at the post office this morning, and Ronnie Braggs was down there, and he had an envelope with him, and he was collecting donations for Christ Vision. Oh, thank, thank you, Ronnie. He said he Hallelujah. Some stops all over town uh -huh. during the daytime. And so if you see him, say, hey, Ronnie, I want to donate, too. Oh, and the lady at God. the post office window gave him a donation, and he showed me inside the envelope, and it was just full of money. Hallelujah. Thank you, we God, for, for, for 